So I work in commercials now. For that business. And, and Absolutely. Well, just in terms of TV ads versus strictly online social media ads, my own anecdotal evidence is showing me that we are doing more of the social media ads on vertical platforms as opposed to the 16 by 9 horizontal TV commercial ads just because people are consuming more ads on their phone versus then watching on TV because streaming services Wait, don't is that have it or is it but you're in the weeds here you're talking yeah. about um, you're talking about ratios of creative and you're talking about what what you're really talking about is where are people spending their time yeah. and where are you early where you're breaking new ground in a space that hasn't yet been so overrun that the signals are lost so in, in that particular case if you, traditionally Super Bowl ads were Pepsi, Anheuser Busch, you know, it hadn't been done before that a startup would take over an ad platform experience. They couldn't afford it during the Super Bowl. And it was so jarring and so unique. And it created such buzz, if you will, that it had this impact that far outweighed the $3 million or $6 million that they spent, right? Then that became the new norm. They discovered it first, they trailblazed, they found this, I call it open, you know, green fields of opportunity to exploit. And they were there first, they took a lot of risk, could have totally failed. And then from then on, you saw like in the last Super Bowl, you had like the Oatly, you know, CEO who like basically sang that absurd song, but it stuck in people's heads and it was sort of catchy. And that done, that did, you know, wonders for the business. But to your point, down visitation and, and viewership on the Grammys, on the Oscars, even on the Super Bowl. And so TV didn't have the impact. So you're right, right place, right time. You know, you, not that we want to use the example of the fire festival because it was such a disaster, but same kind of thing. You know, the brilliance of that, the reason that there's three documentaries about it now, and it's a meme. It is a, it is a, pop cultural meme yeah. when you see a disaster it's, it's a immediately a fire with a y right yeah and the reason for that if you really look at it is is not because the festival was such a disaster which of course it was but there's lots of things that have failed in time it was that the founder i forget what billy he figured out that if you get a bunch of supermodels with the idea that you could go party with them, that it was all it was, was a pay to play kind of opportunity in, I think it was the Bahamas, but in the Caribbean, the idea was that he did such a brilliant job with almost no budget with, what was it, Ja Rule, is that right? And, and a bunch of like Victoria's Secret supermodels that you could put together this, this concept of, well, I'm an influencer and I'm almost at their level and I just have to pay some money and I can go hang with all of them. That idea of like pay to play with super influencers and celebrities and it's right at your fingertips, that hadn't been, even though it was total fraud, obviously, I don't think they thought it was a fraud at the time because I think they were They totally thought they were really going to put on a festival. Yeah, they thought they were going to, well, and they had yeah. no experience to be able to do it. Right. But the point is they figured out with influencer marketing and with the right look and the feel, super high production values drone shots, the allure of this illicit island. What was it? It was uh, the island, Al Capone's Island or whatever it was. They basically put together all of the key signals that created desire right at the right time as Burning Man was peaking. And, and you had all these other festivals where people were like, okay, I'm in. I need to be a part of that. And, that. and that was the brilliance of what they did. Forget the execution on the festival itself. What they did is a masterful new marketing, opening new doors, new, new innovation around marketing that worked extraordinarily well. I mean, you could, you could say the same thing with what's the uh, Kylie uh, with her makeup brand. Oh, Kylie Jenner. Or yeah, Kylie Jenner's makeup brand. I mean, figure out how to get the right people on the platform to sell the idea of beauty to young girls, teenage girls. To, to use influencer marketing to drive that. She was very early on and built, you know, a massive new marketing platform for probably not that breakthrough. I don't know what the ingredients are, how good it was, but it, it had more sizzle than competitors, obviously, that probably had a lot more time and a lot more chemistry in those products. 